Hello, I'm Bonnie Shillette. I am a Google certified trainer, innovator, coach, and GEG leader from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Today, I'm gonna answer the following question. How can I organize my classes on Google Classroom, which relates to planning and prep in Google Classroom? Organizing your Google Classroom effectively and efficiently supports both students and teachers to save time and create less hassle. Students can spend more time engaging with the content and less time struggling with instructions. We will see why organization is important to teachers and students. Teachers can organize materials based on the needs of their classroom. Some of the strategies we will discuss today are the use of classroom topics, emojis, stream management options, and hosting materials. Whether your class is single or multi-subject, topics are useful because students can view sorted assignments and materials quickly and easily. To create a topic, go to Classwork, click the plus button, and then the Create option. Classwork, plus button, I'm gonna title this topic, Unit 1. So now my students can find all the resources quickly and easily under that topic. Next is my favorite strategy using emojis. Everyone loves emojis. I know I use them every day. Using emojis grabs the student's attention and adds a little personalization to your Google Classroom. One of my favorite things to do is to use icons from Emojipedia or those accessible right on my keyboard to enhance my assignment titles and topics and provide visual cues for my students. So let's try it. I'm gonna take one of the topics I already have created and I'm just gonna use the emojis accessible on my keyboard. I'm gonna pick something applicable to this topic. So this is language arts. So I'm gonna choose a book and I'm gonna rename. So that's a simple example. You could also include headphones for any assignments that involved audio or even like a pencil for every writing assignment. So students could get visual cues of the expectations for those assignments. Next, your stream options. The stream is the first thing your students will see when logging into your Google Classroom. And you have the power to change those settings to do what works best for your class. You can decide what shows up on the stream, if students can comment, or if students can create their own posts. So to access those settings, you click on the gear at the top of the page. And then you scroll to stream. Right here it's set where students can only comment, but you can change that where students can post or teachers can only post, and you can always change that. So you might wanna have it where students can comment and then change that whenever you're not actively monitoring that Google Classroom. Um, you can also decide whether you want to have classwork on the stream or just announcements. I would suggest just putting announcements on the stream so students don't miss important information. And don't forget that you can always bump uh, announcements up to the top by clicking the three dots and hit move to top. So important information doesn't get lost in the shuffle of all the good things you're doing. And last, we're gonna talk about posting materials. Sometimes you may just wanna post materials that aren't an announcement or an assignment. Materials can be posted as a separate topic, functioning like a reference area in the class, or can be posted throughout the classwork section you know what works best for your class. So to add materials, I'm gonna hit the big create button and then I'll choose material. And then from here, I can add multimedia, I can add a doc, a video, and then I can select the topic I would like it to fall under. Also, if you want to move a material around, you can simply drop and drag it right there. Materials are a really great way to organize your class. Now we know how to organize our Google Classrooms to support both teachers and students, creating topics, using emojis, managing stream options, and posting materials. Thank you so much for joining and make sure you check out the other videos in this series.